Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Um, you might be wondering, you're uploading on Tuesday and you're uploading Planet Zoo? What is this? Have I landed somehow in a, in a parallel universe? Well, you have not. I'm just very late. Like, um, maybe you follow me on Twitter if, you, um, if you're not. It's in the social media down below. You could follow me there because I give you updates on my channel. And I gave an update that I wasn't able to make any Planet Zoo videos last week. Basically just because of time shortage. Now, um, some of you may already know this, but I'm a teacher and it was the week before the autumn break. And that week is crazy. You have so many meetings and so many appointments that you need to do. I just didn't have time to build. So, unfortunately, I wasn't also able to build this in the weekend because I was finishing one of the homes for the spooky uh, or like for Spooktober for the Sims 4 so Planet Zoo was like lower on my priority scale so I'm uploading it now so you're getting a Planet Zoo video anyways and we are starting off with our Australia Zoo just because I like to finish this zoo because then I finally have finished the zoo I think this is the fifth episode because we had the entrance then we had the koalas then we had the kangaroos then we had the dingoes and now we have the cassowaries actually it's the yeah it's the fifth did i say that correctly entrance koala kangaroo dingo yeah fifth may, may i like six if you count the terraforming because you know that was the video where i lost my voice so i just had like a video without me talking like, if you want to know how to, how I make like uh, maps and how I make terrain, that's interesting. If you don't, don't worry, you don't have to watch it. So, I did some research on cassowaries, and I'm not even sure if I pronounced that correctly. And I kept calling them weird emus, and apparently that was correct because they're actually cousins to the emus. So, my initial thought of, hmm, this bird looks like an emu, was correct. And I'm actually quite happy with that, because, you know, I do know something about wildlife, apparently. I could be the next Steve Irwin. Or uh, we also have like a Dutch Steve Irwin. His name is uh, Freek Funk. And he is completely insane. And, and I, it's absolutely hilarious. Like the kids like it. And obviously me being a teacher, I watch it a lot. And it's quite fun actually. So and then whenever I go to a zoo, I like I pretend to be him and all the kids around me really like it. My friends don't that much, but you know what? Who cares? That makes me sound like I'm some weird person that walks around doing impersonations of people. I don't do that all the time. Okay, just bear that in mind. I don't do it all the time. I just do it sometimes. And sometimes is enough. I, I'll stop talking now. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, what was I talking about? I can't even... Oh yeah, the cassowary. So, like, they're cousins uh, to the emus. And they're also, um, like, on the very dangerous species uh, list. They're, like, a level 2 in California. I'm not sure what that means, but apparently they're dangerous because I think tigers are also on, on like one of those levels, maybe even level one. I, I don't know. I should have probably done more research about this before I started talking about it, but I just didn't want to. I'm sorry. So apparently in uh, California, one of these, uh, like one guy, they, I don't know, like he breeded cassowaries on like this farm and then he got attacked by his cassowary, so... You know, that sucks. And apparently he got injured really bad, so they are actually quite dangerous animals. And, like, I didn't know this, but apparently they only live in groups of two, at least in Planet Zoo. And I thought there would be, like, a, a group of at least, like, ten. Same with, like, ostriches, because, you know, they live in groups, they don't live in twos. But apparently... These only live in two, so they have this amazing large habitat. They only need like 400 square meters. Obviously, um, me being me, I make this habitat way too big. Which in the end was really good because I put so many coverage in there. Like, I'm not gonna lie. After we finish with the terrain paint, we are going to do the uh, foliage and the coverage. And it is insane, like literally insane. There are so many plants in this, like in this habitat. I feel I feel like almost 60% of the entire habitat is coverage. That is quite a lot because I don't even think the koalas have that many. And they had like so many plants. So you can only imagine and then this habitat is smaller than the koala islands. 
So if you haven't seen any of my other uh, Planet Zoo videos of the Australia Zoo, it is also linked down below and it will also be linked at the end of this video so you can watch the entire series. And after that, if you still want to watch me building a Planet Zoo, uh, I also have the Woodland Zoo series. And the Woodland Zoo is basically my dream zoo. So in there I built everything that I want in my zoo. And we also kind of go over the top. For example, I built this entire like Mayan temple just to function it as a food court. And then around there, there will there are like habitats. Just watch it if you haven't already. Like it's quite a long series. I think I have 15 episodes right now. I'm not sure how long I will continue. I still feel like we need some more animals. Same goes for the Australia Zoo. Like after the cassowary, I think that we have done all the Australian animals. I still want to kind of add in the kimono dragon. I was thinking maybe the spotted hyena. But after that, I'm not really sure what animal we can like add in. I think the zoo might be done after that. Which will be amazing because like this, this is supposed to be like a short zoo series, like maximum of 10 episodes and the zoo tour. So, you know, chill. Don't worry about it. It won't be that long. It won't go on for that long. Even though like I started this when Planet Zoo uh, Australia pack came out and that is like two months ago now. I, s I still didn't finish this zoo, but that's because I only built one habitat a week. But now it's on, I'm on holiday, well, I'm not actually going anywhere because, you know, my country is a code red and I'm not allowed in any other countries. So that sucks because I really wanted to go to London. But, you know, I can't do that because if I go to London, I need to be in quarantine for two weeks and I only have a break for one week. So kind of sucks, but, you know, um, it is what it is. There will be more breaks on where I hopefully can travel because I'm addicted to traveling and I like to see the entire world. But at the moment, it actually isn't that good idea. You know, like before the entire uh, like pandemic broke out, um, I actually planned a trip to New York and I was ready to book it. And then this entire like pandemic just bursted out in New York and there were so many cases and I was so happy that I wasn't there. I mean, can you imagine? That would have been awful. So at the moment, I'm really happy that I'm in my tiny, cold little country. Even though I would much rather be somewhere warm or somewhere where I feel more at home. But you know what it is, what it is, I'll get to travel. And the thing what it is, like I usually travel on all my breaks just to get away from normal life. Because I really, when I have a holiday, I really want to go somewhere else and I want to break habits. And I can't do that now. So that's really annoying. So I feel like my entire rhythm is just gone. So that that it's like a lot of adjustments. Luckily, I did get to go away two times in summer holiday, you know, before my country got to go code red. So if you're planning on going to the Netherlands, don't. We're code red right now, even though um, no, I'm not going to even say that. Like, huh. Anyways, um, going back to Planet Zoo, I completely forgot what I was talking about. But anyways, um, at this moment, I found out that the animals were actually way too cold because I built this in an Australia zoo. So the temperature usually gets above the 45 degrees. And um, cassowaries apparently can't handle that sort of heat. So I put coolers down, but then all the coolers went to zero degrees and they can't handle that either. So I had to find every single cooler and make sure that the temperature was actually around the 20 because they are the most happy when they're in 12 to 29 degrees, according to the Zoopedia. I still am not sure how to pronounce, 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 pronounce cassowary. I'm thinking today I'm not even sure how to pronounce normal words. I mean, it's insane, man. Sometimes I have days on which my spe speech is very good, but today is not one of those days. And I'm very, very sorry. Anyways, um, for Planet Zoo this week, there will be uh, another Australia Zoo video on Sunday, like you're used to from me. And there will be a Woodland Zoo video on Friday, like you're used from me as well. And then like yesterday, you already had a Sims video. And then tomorrow will be another Sims video. And that will be Spooktober. Like, I usually... 
I mean, like, I say usually as if I had a YouTube channel for over, ye like, years and years. I don't, I don't even have this channel a year yet. I started this in April, so I have it, like, six months now. And I'm actually quite happy because we're almost at 60 subs. And I never imagined that people would actually, you know, look at my content, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm doing Spooktober and The Sims 4, and I was thinking, should I do that in Planet Zoo? But then I realized that I don't know enough about Planet Zoo and how to actually build in Planet Zoo, so we are just doing the normal program and i think actually i'm going over time by talking because we are going into the cinematics so guys if you have enjoyed this make sure you like comment and subscribe maybe perhaps even share this footage with your friends and hit that bell icon if you really enjoyed it so you get notified when my next video comes out i will hope you guys have a wonderful morning afternoon evening wherever you are in this world and i will hope to see you guys on the next video <laughs> bye guys